Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today I am going to be sharing with you another round of four weeks for lipsticks. This is my way of shopping my lipstick stash and every month I am picking out four new lipsticks, one for each week out of the month, and the goal is just to use each lipstick twice that week and throughout the rest of the month if I end up feeling so inclined. So today we are going to talk about my March picks and then also pick the new ones for April. Also share some photos with you uh, showing kind of how I used each of these this month, at least one for each lipstick I think I should have. Um, so anyway, the first lipstick that we had for the month of March was the e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade Berry Sorbet. This is a beautiful like fuchsia berry purpley color. Really pretty, really enjoyed wearing this. I'm glad that this was one of the lipsticks for the month because I hadn't used it in a while and it reminded me how much I really do enjoy this lip color. It's really bright, definitely not something I'd wear every single day, but it is really, really fun, and I love the formula of the e.l.f. matte lip colors. Oh, and then I do also want to start sharing how many times I wore each of the lipsticks. One of you guys asked me that last month, and I was like, that is a great idea because that'll keep me accountable too. So I wrote down in my planner um, each week which lipstick I'd be focusing on, and I put little tally marks next to each one. So this one I did wear twice that week. The following week we had one of the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks in the shade Cherry Picking. This is another very bright berry color, it was kind of funny, we had two, two berry lipsticks two weeks in a row. Unfortunately I only wore this once, and that's really okay, I mean the point of this isn't to force myself to wear things that I just don't want to wear. It's a very bold lip color and I really only had one occasion. I did go out with friends once that week and that I wore it that night, but there was, there was really no other times where I felt like... This went with my look. I thought about wearing it in a get ready with me that I did, but then I ended up not feeling like it really went with the eye look that I did. So I only wore this once. This is a new lip product to my collection. I did really think it was really pretty. It lasted a long time. Um, really bright, vibrant. I love a color like this. So I enjoyed wearing it that one time, but hopefully I'll continue to get more use out of it just naturally. <laughs> uh, with other looks, but yeah, I only wore that one once and that, that's okay, I don't mind. Because some of the other ones I wore more than twice. Week number three, I had another product that was a little bit newer to me, also from Wet n Wild, that same formula in the shade Never Nude. So this I really enjoyed. I ended up wearing this two or three times in that week. I couldn't remember if I had tallied all the times I'd worn it or not, so I either wore it twice or three times. But either way, I also wore it two other times just in the previous weeks and um, I just really enjoyed this lipstick. It's like a really good nude color. It's probably as light as I could go with a nude lipstick um, without being just like too nude. I wore it a lot. I feel like I made a lot of progress on this this month even though I'm not really trying to pan these things necessarily. I wore it a lot. It also wears really well with the Milani Lip Liner in Spice, which is getting so tiny. This is in my project pan. So those paired together really well, which was great to be able to, to use that a lot. Um, I ended up wearing a combo of this lipstick, the Milani Spice Lip Liner, and the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss in On Repeat, which is new to me. I ended up wearing that combo a lot this month, like at least three times. Um, really pretty combo. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot. And then the lipstick for week number four, which is the one I'm actually wearing right now, is a gloss from the brand Marcel. This is actually a Canadian brand, I believe, and this is their Lux Gloss in the shade Starlet. I actually bought this when I was in Canada last year. Um, this is like a metallic pink lip gloss, and I've had a lot of fun with this. This is really pretty. I wore it on its own one time. It doesn't look crazy, even though it's metallic. It doesn't necessarily look like you're wearing like a ton of glitter on your lips. It just looks like your lips are shiny and shimmery. So this I've worn twice this week and then I also wore it one other time. I wore it in my Get Ready With Me that I did a couple weeks ago where I did kind of like a springy pastel look on the eyes. I wore this over the top of the e.l.f. matte lip color in Tea Rose, which wasn't in this month's round, but those went really well together. Right now I'm wearing it with the Milani Lip Liner in Spice and I also wore it alone one time. So. Really glad that I got some more use out of this because it had also been a while since I'd reached for this and it is a really pretty gloss. I'm glad that I have a metallic gloss because it, it can be really versatile. It can go really well either on its own or it can really like work nicely as like a lip topper. There's a lot you can do with it so um, I'm very glad to have this in my collection. Okay, so now for the fun part, picking the four lipsticks for April. So I have my list of all my lipsticks here in front of me. Last month I think I had 26 
lip products to choose from. This month I actually have 27. There was just one lip product that came with like an Ulta gift with purchase set that I ended up deciding to keep because it looks really pretty. This is the Ulta Patent Shine Liquid Lipstick. So this is the one that's new to my collection. It looks like just a really, really opaque gloss. Um, I know these like Shine liquid lipsticks are really popular right now. I know Wet n Wild has some. Um, it's kind of, I think what I've gathered is that it's just like meant to be a really opaque lip gloss. That's where, I guess that's where the liquid lipstick term comes in, but it's not like one of those matte, like drying liquid lipsticks, which confused me at first. I haven't worn this yet, but I have swatched it. It looks really pretty. I decided to keep it um, from that little gift set. So now I have 27 lip products. Whew. My lip product collection has been growing. I think I started the year with 22. I need to like slow it down, but I've been having a lot of fun with lip products this year. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick the four products for the month of April. And like last time, if I get any repeats uh, from previous months, I've only done it two other months, um, I, I'll select another one because I don't want to repeat any. I want to try to like rotate through my entire lipstick collection here. All right, number one through 27, let's see. Okay, so we got 22. That matches up with, okay, another one of those new Wet n Wild lipsticks that I recently purchased. This is the one in the shade Mocha Licious. So I'm glad that I'm, I'm actually getting to use these, um, those ones that I recently purchased. I bought three at one time <laughs> when I was at Walgreens a few weeks ago. And so I'm glad that I'm getting to, to get some use out of them since I just bought them. I want to kind of see how they work. This is in the shade Mocha Licious. It's like a matte, like 90s brown, <laughs> which I love. I love a good brown nude lipstick. So this will be fun to create some looks. And this will actually go really well with my eyeshadow roulette for the month. I'm doing something similar to this challenge with eyeshadows as well now. Um, calling it eyeshadow roulette, it's inspired by the pan, those eyeshadows project pan that's been going around, but mine is more for the purpose of just rotating through my all my pans of eyeshadow in my collection and not necessarily for panning eyeshadows, if that makes sense. So anyway, I ended up uh, selecting a lot of browns and like neutral colors for this month's round of eyeshadows. But I think that this lipstick will actually go really well um, with those. I'm wearing a lot of those eyeshadows on my eyes right now. I think that this would go really nicely. So yay, that'll be fun. All right, number two for week two, we have eight. Let's see which one that is. That is another one from Wet n Wild. This is one that I, I really like. This goes with a lot. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Nudist Peach. I wore this... I feel like I wore this recently. Yes, I wore it in my subculture palette throwback. This is a perfect peachy nude for the springtime. I love this lip color. Yay, two for Wet n Wild. <laughs> I do have a lot of Wet n Wild in my collection. Week three, let's do this. Do do 22 again, so that was that was the the Wet n Wild Mochalicious, so we'll pick another one for week three. Seven. So that is, okay, that is the Ulta Beauty Lipstick in Pink Chocolate. Where is that? So that is one that I actually had in my January. No, it was February. The first one I did was in February. This is one that I had previously, so we will go ahead and pick another one. Beautiful, like, pinkish nude lipstick, but I, I would like to um, not have any repeats. So let's pick another. Got 14. I feel like we've had that. Okay, no, we haven't, and I'm glad that this one got picked because this one keeps escaping. Um, <laughs> it keeps escaping my routine. I haven't used it in forever. This is the CoverGirl uh, Honeyed Bloom Cream Lipstick. So the shade is Honeyed Bloom. Another really pretty, like, pinky nude. This will be gorgeous for the spring as well. I'm glad that we're getting some really good, like, spring-appropriate colors this time. This, I want, actually, will most likely be pairing with my... Jordana lip liner in the shade Rose Crush. Those go really well together. Also haven't been using this lip liner a ton because I've been focusing so much on the Milani lip liner in Spice and I really do like this um, lip liner. So I'm excited to be able to use both of those. But yeah, that's exciting. Good. Because that needs, that needs some love. And then finally we have number two. That is Elf's Tea Rose. So another one of their matte lip colors in the shade Tea Rose. This is really pretty. I paired it with this Marcel lip gloss earlier this month. Really pretty nude. We've got a lot of nudes this month, which is fine because I'm more likely to wear nudes on a, on a regular basis anyway. So this is kind of a purpley nude. Um, really pretty color. Definitely deserves some more love because it is not used very often. So I am very excited about these four lipsticks that I'll be focusing on this month. 
Um, definitely look forward to seeing these on my lips throughout the month. I'll probably incorporate them into any kind of get ready with me videos that I do throughout the month as well. So yay, I'm excited. I am loving this challenge. It's been so much fun to really make sure that I'm using all my lipsticks. I've I, you know, I don't love panning lipsticks, but I feel much better knowing that I'm actually using all the lips lipsticks in my collection and not only using them, but using them more than once so I can really kind of start to get a feel for them, especially if I don't know them very well. <laughs> as if they're like people. Um, so yeah, this has been a lot of fun for me. Another thing that's been really cool is basing my makeup looks around a lip color instead of around the eyeshadow because I usually decide on my eyeshadow and then pick a lip color, but it's been kind of fun to pick the lip color and then pair the rest of my makeup with that. It's a little bit of a different way of planning out a look and so that's been fun too. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I, you know, definitely stay tuned. I do these updates at the either at the end of every month or the beginning of each month to kind of recap the month before and choose the new ones for the next month. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like these and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!